Hey guys, Mr. Joker here. I have a very interesting game today, and it's called The Binding of Isaac. Some of you may have heard of it, but I doubt it, because it is a, uh, it's a small-time game. It's very interesting. And uh, right off the bat, there'll be an intro, so I'll let you, I'll let you watch that. Isaac and his mother lived alone in a small house on a hill. Isaac kept to himself, drawing pictures and playing with his toys as his mom watched Christian broadcasts on the television. Life was simple, and they were both happy. That was until the day Isaac's mom heard a voice from above. Your son has become corrupted by sin. He needs to be saved. I will do my best to save him, my lord, Isaac's mother replied, rushing into Isaac's room, removing all that was evil from his life. Again, the voice called to her. Isaac's soul is still corrupt. He needs to be cut off from all that is evil in this world and confess his sins. I will follow your instructions, Lord. I have faith in thee, Isaac's mother replied, as she locked Isaac in his room, away from the evils of the world. One last time, Isaac's mom heard the voice of God calling to her. You've done as I've asked, but I still question your devotion to me. To prove your faith, I will ask one more thing of you. Yes, Lord, anything. Isaac's mother begged. To prove your love and devotion, I require a sacrifice. Your son Isaac will be this sacrifice. Go into his room and end his life as an offering to me to prove you love me above all else. Yes, Lord, she replied, grabbing a butcher's knife from the kitchen. Isaac, watching through a crack in his door, trembled in fear. Scrambling around his room to find a hiding place, he noticed a trap door to the basement hidden under his rug. Without hesitation, he flung open the hatch, just as his mother burst through his door and threw himself down into the unknown depths below. That was pretty messed up now, wasn't it? Yeah, so, uh, I actually played a few minutes of it just to, uh, get some testing done. Just to make sure everything was working properly. And, uh, it's very interesting because you, when you die, it restarts. And I really hope I don't die. I, I, I died really quickly though, the first few times I played it. And it's completely random, all the maps. It's just like a, uh, it's like a side-scroller you just go through all each different level of the maps and then there's a boss at the end and like I think it does that like eight times over or something like that or uh well there's four areas with like eight maps to it or something like that I don't know something like that yeah oh and this whole background thing sorry for it but this is the only way I, I could record it fraps wasn't compatible with it okay so let's get started hopefully I don't die and uh, you can unlock different characters besides Isaac right here, which is pretty cool. Collect seven or more heart containers, 55 pennies, Judas, I don't know, it's probably beat the game or something. Uh, Eve, uh, unlocked by making two deals with the devil, I assume that's some kind of trade. Yeah, so as you go through this, you, uh, you'll you get like accessories to change your Isaac character. See, that was a tear I just shot. You could see up here, arrows. That's what I used to fire with. I have bombs right here. Pennies up here, and I got keys over here. And this is the map layout, whatever rooms are connected. And here are my lives. And this is where my uh, item would go if I had one. I only had one once, and it was a unicorn horn, which is pretty epic. I was just busting through everything. And as a recharge time, because you have to... Uh, you have to kill things in order to recharge it. 
Okay, and I just noticed actually, I just have to pause it for a quick second. You actually have skills here, which I assume maybe there's like a level up system. I don't know. This looks pretty interesting. You got speed here though, you got a, uh, this looks like rate of fire. How much each one does and how far it goes maybe? I don't know. Let's just, uh, let's just go with that though. Okay, so uh, here we go. Oh. Trying to dodge. Now there's so many different types of monsters here. Like it's crazy. Like I've already encountered over uh, like ten types of monsters, and I only played for like thirty minutes. Oh, here's an item. Mom's eye. Oh look, see if you just look at my eye right there. See that that's an accessory. That's more of a uh, just a costume kind of thing. Oh, what the. Interesting. Okay, it does more than just the costume stuff. It also shoots behind me once in a while. Maybe every third, I think. One, two, three, no. Close. Oh. See, this is like a mini boss here. Oh, crap. Those are bombs. I can't, I can't hit them. Let me hit you. Okay. Ooh, what we get here? Oh, items. Those are items. I'm not sure what that one does. It's probably some kind of like speed up maybe or attack speed. Yeah, you can press Q to use it. I'll wait for a uh, boss fight. Oh, and here's a door. I can use my key in it, but I'm going to save it for now because sometimes you get chests, which are pretty good too. So, oh, and that's, a, that's actually the shop room. This means it's a shop. So, I don't, you don't really need to go to the shop in the beginning, because you usually don't have enough money to buy anything. Uh, and there's the boss door, if you see up top. Oh, here's a heart. It'll stay there if I leave it there. If I try to pick it up, it won't pick up, unless I'm actually missing health. And I don't even think that's worth it. Yeah, it's not worth wasting a bomb over. Now, if I if I had a spare bomb, I would do it, but it's not. It's not worth it. Because sometimes you actually need these bombs to move on to other levels, and sometimes there'll be rooms with keys where they want you they, you won't even get a key in the level. Oh, look, see, so you can buy keys here. Red hearts are actual hearts. Uh, I've never that that looks like a map. I think it unlocks everything, all the whole map for this this level that I'm on. And that blue heart right there, that is for, uh, temporary health. It'll go on the end of my red health up here. Okay, let's... Let's go do boss time now. Now, each boss, each, each boss seems to be different. Because I've already done this about three times, this boss. And it kind of alternated a bit. Oh, this guy. Yeah, I fought him twice already, I think. He's a bit hard, because he's got the most random movement. They also do a ton of damage when they get you. Oh, you know what? I'll use my, my card right now. Oh. Um. Okay. Hello? I got an item. Bob's rotten head. No, Bob! Oh, God. Oh, well, I found a secret room. That's pretty interesting. Uh. I, I, I knew there was secret rooms on on some levels, but I guess that's like one of those ones where you can only do it with the card, I guess. Okay, so cards teleport you. I gotta do this over again. But I, I have this thing. I don't know what it does. I have, this, I have this item. It could possibly, like, destroy it. I don't know. I think I'm doing a bit more damage now. Okay, it's dropping a lot of poop. Okay, destroy it. Oh. Got a lot of damage to it. Uh, 
Is it me, can, or can I just not hit this poop? Oh, nice. I, uh... Yes. Oh, I didn't even need to use my item. I could, I could just save it. Um, I can, I can walk on this poop, I guess. Wait, is that what it allows me to do? Does it allow me to walk on poop? My head thing? Speed up. Nice. Uh, I got a little, little belt on me. Pretty sweet, huh? Okay. Next level. It just gets creepier from here. And these, I've noticed, are his bad memories. They occasionally alternate, too. I've seen that one about twice. Okay, now this level, I don't think I've ever beat the boss on it. I don't think I've gotten up to it. I've just kind of stopped. I didn't want to go too far. Oh, I know what that room is. That room is like a keep fighting them until like you win type of thing. So uh, let's go on that towards the end, just in case we get any more power-ups. Oh, this is good, a chest. Um, put one right there. Yeah, I, I'm not sure what that is or where that is. I'm never sure where that is. Okay, uh, I don't want to waste my last bomb just in case I need it. Ah. Let's just, let's just destroy these flies first. Sometimes you get good stuff from the poop. Okay, good. I got another bomb. Uh, there's the boss room. You have a bottom room down there. Let's let's go get the item. I think there was a heart in here too, wasn't there? Or a previous room? Uh, good stuff. Good stuff. Oh no! Oh, that was a close one. I don't know how much damage a bomb would do to me. What? I can't get to it now? Oh, what the? Come on, open up. I really wanted to go in there. Oh, these things are weird. They, they sound weird, too. And they drop flies. That's good. See, this is a very good game. It's a family-oriented game. Okay, not a lot of blood. Okay. Very, very fun. Happy. Oh, crap. Oh, um, okay. Let's first put out these fires. Wait, did I? Wasn't there? Oh, wait, never mind. I thought there was something in the middle, besides a heart. Okay. Whoa! I've never fought these. They are a bit, a bit crazy. Easy, easy to predict though, this one is a bit... Nice, nice. Good stuff. That was just stupid to me. I want a key. Maybe I'll get a key from this. Nah, it's just money. I'm not even gonna bother putting a bomb there. Oh, I wanna go in that golden room. That golden room looks good. Uh, okay, I still have two rooms I haven't explored. Or a total of four rooms. Oh, okay, good. It's opened up. That's good. Roid Rage. Speed and rank. Oh my god, look at my face. I assume that these items just kind of stack. Oh, these things are creepy. Targeting on this thing is a bit weird. Good, we beat it. Oh yeah.
Look at my face. That's a champ face right there. Oh, I go so fast now. Let's check how fast I go. Wow. It's almost maxed out. Oh, no, no, no. No. Oh, wait, wait. It shows, how, shows your items, too. Mom's eye, uh, the belt, the needle that we just got, I think, and my item right there. I can click on them, but I'm afraid of what it might do. They're already all inactive. Uh, they're already all active. I still got mom's eye like that. It's a bit glitchy though looking. Oh, okay. Yeah. Got the uh. Oh. oh! Damn it! That thing is strong. Ah. Okay, this thing is getting a bit hectic. Oh, it killed the tone. Sweet. Just die. Now you just gotta die too. You just gotta. Yes, a key! Okay, um, I'll use that soon, once I go to the last room all the way to the right. Oh my god, I go so fast. Oh, this might screw me up though, too. I think like it, it gives me a good dodge. But look at me. If you could kind of see, like, on my screen, my face is getting cut off because I'm moving so fast. I'm, mo I'm moving so fast, like, whatever direction I'm heading in, I'm kind of getting cut off a bit. Boom. Um, I have a, a... Oh, I got ten bombs from that? Wow. Okay, well, I, I don't need to be afraid anymore to use these bombs on that item right over here. This, uh... Oh, crap. Wrong thing. Oh, well, I guess that would have killed everything. Okay, so I'm, I'm getting used to these cards. Okay, that death one obviously destroys everything. Everything. Uh, okay, so Q's items, E is bombs. See, I was getting that wrong. I accidentally hit Q for bomb. Uh, Q for, yeah, I thought Q was bomb. Okay, here we go. I don't think I'm ready though, honestly, because I, I got one and a half hearts. I'll try and hit space, I'm not even sure if I can activate that. Ah, uh, oh, Gemini, this thing's weird. Oh, it's a bomb thing. I just bombed myself. Oh, no. Damn it. Oh. Um, okay. can I do it again? Oh, dude, diary. Today I died. I was killed by this thing in some basement. I leave that, all that I own to my cat guppy. I guess. Oh, for a second I thought it was like fish. No, no. It's just a cat named Guppy. Okay, goodbye, crew world. Isaac. Excellent. Yep, and uh. Yeah. Maybe I'll keep going. Let's see how far I can get, maybe. You know. Yeah. I guess that's it for now. See you guys later.